guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca, and today I have a triple unboxing. So these are all of my August subscription boxes. I am currently a rep for all of these boxes, so thank you very much to Abraxas, Illumicrate, and Fairy Loot respectively for sending these my way. But in today's video, we have the August Abraxas box. This one is a pretty new, this is only the third box ever, UK-based fantasy subscription box. I do have a code for this one, but my code gets you two pounds off the box of the month, and I don't think there's any August boxes left. But in case there are, you can use Use my code Becca2 to get £2 off the August box which will reduce it to the same price as it was if you had taken out a month by month subscription as opposed to a single purchase. We also have the August Illumicrate. This one is a UK based sci-fi and fantasy subscription box with a mix of adult and young adult books and my code for this one is Becca5 which will get you a discount off a three or six month subscription. And the last one we have for this video is the August Fairy Loot. This one is once again a UK based YA fantasy subscription box that occasionally has a little bit of sci-fi. So I'm going to be opening these in the order that they arrived but down in my description box and across the time bar of this video you will find chapters. If you only want to see certain boxes or if you've ordered some and they haven't arrived yet you can skip to whichever boxes you want to see. But the first one that arrived this month was the Abraxas box and I have no idea what the theme is for this one. I don't remember and I also have no idea what the book is for this one. We will crack her open. The card has vacated the premises but the cool thing about the Abraxas box is that every month they have a Muse of the Month where the artwork for the theme card is based on one of the subscribers. So here is the art for August and the theme for this month is Resilient Warriors and there are all of the spoilers in case you guys would like to pause this video and have a look at those. But heading into the box I've already seen a candle so I'm already excited. I've only just started burning my subscription box candles. I really like to hoard them. But this candle is the Valkyries, which is inspired by A Course of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Maas. And it's from the Midnight Flame Candle Company. And the scent is Eucalyptus, Amber, Woods and Hyacinth. So, oh, it's a very fresh scent. And it is also very pretty under here with some dried flowers on top. Mm, I really like that one. We also have a pen in here, but it also has a rubber stylus end. So you can use it for an iPad. But on here, it says Heart of a Warrior. We also have a little business card for the Midnight Flame Candle Company. Oh my God. Is this Stella Bookish Art? It is! We have a notebook designed by Stella Bookish Art who is one of my favourite bookish typography illustrators. And the quote on here is apparently unknown but it's thought to be Genghis Khan. I love Stella Bookish Art so much. The quote says, fate whispers to the warrior, you cannot withstand the storm. The warrior whispers back, I am the storm. And it is a lined notebook. I love notebooks. I don't love plain paper ones because I'm not a doodler, I write notes. So I always prefer the notebooks to be lined. And then right at the bottom of this, before we get to the book, we have two art prints. The first print is of Fang, I believe, from the Poppy War. And the second one, I really like this one. This one is Mulan. So a great selection of items in this one. And let us get to the book, which has a bookmark that matches the theme and also the book. Oh, I I missed one. I missed one. I just found something in the packing. We have this, which I think might be a pin. Yes, it is. This is inspired by the Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, and it's a little dragon pin. But the book of the month, I think I know what it is now. And it's a book that I already have, but that does not matter. And it is She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. So this was the, I think the July book for Illumicrate, but I gave all of my duplicates to my best friend, you know that. And a breakfast box is as they are new do not have special editions but this one is an adult martial I want to say fantasy about a young girl and a boy whose fortunes are told and the boy has great things in his future and the girl has absolutely nothing and as they are from a poor family her family are wondering how the boy is going to achieve such great things however in an attack that orphans the children and also kills the boy the girl then steals his identity and I'm assuming tries to fulfill his destiny I'm actually really excited about this book because it's a martial fantasy I think I'm really gonna like it so that was the 
breakfast box. My favorite item of the month is the candle. As usual, let me know down in the comments what your guys' favorite item of the month is. So moving on to the August Illumicrate. I know what the theme is. The theme is Dark Academia. I'm really excited for it. And I also know what the book is in here, but because somebody told me, but I absolutely know nothing about it. So, oh, she, uh, she feels like a hefty box. I'm excited to dive into this one. So as I suspected, the theme is Dark Academia. Here are the spoilers if you'd like to take a look. And the theme for next month is To the Bitter End, which I'm really excited for because the book is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. And I don't need another edition, but I will take one. So not much packing in this Luma crate. It is stuffed full. We'll start off with this because I think that this is going to be one of the enamel pots, which um, they're all based on like magical or fantastical tomes. And they're really cool. I have, I think I've got all of them. I don't know how many there are. There's four or five. Oh, it is. This one is a guide to secret societies. Perfect for dark academia. The back says it discovered closely guarded secrets and clandestine agendas. And the spine on this one says rituals, histories, and conspiracies. So so we love the enamel pots, nice little decorative items, but also I keep my lipsticks in them. I've got playing cards in some of them for some reason. But next up we have this, I'm thinking maybe a decorative tray, which it is, Athena Goddess of Wisdom Collectible Saucer. Very exciting. I have a few of these as well, but none as big as this one. Oh, I've just seen there's a collectible teacup as well. Oh my God. Okay, so I don't have one of these because this seems to be a new collectible item from Illumicrate. This is absolutely beautiful. I thought it was going to be, you know, like a little trinket tray, not an actual teacup saucer. Because here in this very pretty box, we also have the teacup. It's so small. A tiny baby teacup. I have to say, I don't drink tea super often, but when I do, it's a massive mug. So this ain't gonna cut it for me. But it is very, oh yeah. She is beautiful. And it's a little teacup and saucer. I love that. That's cool. Okay, so that's most of the large items, I think. Should we go for some of the small ones? We have, oh, we'll go with, oh, this is cool. I see what they've done. Like a dark academia star set. I'm a fan. Because this is sticky tabs that annotate in with like a dark academia theme. I like that you get six different types as well. That's cool. And then this one, I think is going to be the pin of the month as a bonus item in every Illumin crate. You get a enamel pin normally inspired by the book. I really like this one because it has, are they tentacles or snakes? I think they might be tentacles, but I'm a fan anyway. And we also have some washi tape, which I'm not gonna open, but they have some more Dark Academia designs on, and a gal loves her washi tape. I'm nearly out of my washi tape as well, because I don't use a whole ton of it. I wish I did, because I love washi tape, but I don't use it, so I try not to buy it. And yeah, I only have one roll, and I'm nearly out, so I was gonna look at buying some anyway. We also have in here, this is such a cool box. We have a notebook. Is it? Is it lined? Please tell me. It's not lined. I mean, it, no, it's not a notebook. It is a weekly planner. This is so cool. It even has a bookshelf page and goals and plans and a year at a glance. This is cool. I do have, like, I use the daily planner. I really love planning, but this is still cool. Ooh, look at that. Quotes to remember. A reading log. Is that a monthly reading log? Yeah. And then weekly pages. It's um, undated as well, so you can use it whenever. Maybe I should have a separate one for reading, you know? But then I have a daily planner with lots of separate sections, so I like to use the separate sections. But this is really pretty, I like it. I like it a lot. I also like the design as well. It's simple, classy. And then the book for this month, is it, am I right in thinking it is a standalone horror? I'm excited to see the edition. This one is, oh, it's beautiful. The Devil Makes Three by Tori Bovolino. Look at that, I love the um, like crystal effect on this. So the back says the devil seeks his due from two unsuspecting students. And oh, this is pretty. Also the crystal-y stuff goes into the end pages as usual it's signed by the author and also i don't know if you've seen we have like teal sprayed edges teal is one of my favorite colors and the plot of this one when tess and elliot stumble across an ancient book hidden in a secret tunnel beneath their school library they accidentally release a devil from his book bound prison and he'll stop at nothing to stay free he'll manipulate all the ink in the library books to do his bidding he'll murder in the stacks and he'll bleed into every inch of tess's life until his freedom is permanent forced to work together tess and elliot have to find 
find a way to retrap the devil before he kills everyone they know and love, including increasingly each other. So a bit of a romance in here as well. And compared to what the devil has in store for them, school stress doesn't suddenly doesn't seem so bad after all. I'm excited for this. I'm excited. And as well, I did just do a quick Google. This has a completely exclusive cover to Illumina Craig, so I will overlay the original cover over the top so that you guys can see the difference. I do like the normal cover, but I also really like this one, so I don't think I have a preference. They're both real good. So this was a really solid box from Illumina Craig. I'm gonna have to say that washi tape and pot are my favorite items. The teacup is a really cool collectible item. I like it, but I ain't drinking anything out of that. I don't sip my tea. I guzzle it like a true English lady. Might be cool for Instagram photos though. And finally, our final box for this video, the August Fairy Loots. I cannot remember what the name of the theme is for this one, but I know what the book is. It's Fairy Romance, I think. So the um, theme has something to do with romance. And yeah, the theme for this month is Love Struck. So there is the art. Here is the, or here are, sorry, the spoilers, if you wanna pause and have a little look at those. And cracking into this one, more still a bookish art, possibly. Um, but first up we have a pin, and this is a Caraval stamp pin. I was gonna say I don't like Caraval, that's a lie, I haven't read it, I've had it for a very long time though. Oh, that's so cool, it's like a little travel stamp. I really like that. Then we have, yes, this is designed by Stella Bookish Art. This one is a little tea tray, which I could put my little teacup on and have a little picnic, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. But this one is a quote from Aidan Thomas. I'm gonna say Cemetery Boys maybe. And it says, it wasn't the end, it was a better beginning. I love my little, I could put a little cake on that. Yes, it's from Cemetery Boys as well. I was right. Oh, I just remembered as well, this Fairy Loot book has two books in. I did remember because I saw a paperback on top, which we'll get to eventually. But um, a pin flag. I'm so excited. I need a new pin flag. Because I get subscription boxes, a lot of them do have enamel pins. I already have two full pin flags and a stack of pins waiting for a new flag. So I'm really excited to see we have a new pin flag in a subscription box. And this flag is inspired by these Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Also glad that it has a border around it. I don't like pin flags or pin hoops when they have a design in the center because then I have no space for pins unless I cover the design. So real happy about this. Then I've just took the top book out so I can get to the rest of the stuff. We have a zippy pouch. This one says the wicked is what wild with untamed things and that is a quote from Amanda Joy which is a river of royal blood handy to put my washi tape and my pen and my notebook I have so many stationary supplies in all of these subscription boxes I'm thriving and then we just have the bonus items which in every fairy loot as their bonus item they have tarot cards with the idea of eventually you will have a full deck of tarot and they are of course inspired by book characters so these two are inspired by by Caraval, which I haven't read, so I can't tell you the characters, but they are the Ace and Two of Pentacles. And finally, getting to the books, the first one is the paperback, which is After Love by Tanya Byrne. Is this a contemporary? Oh, no, it's not, because it says not even death will tear them apart. So this apparently has an exclusive cover, so I'll overlay the cover over the top. And it is a sapphic romance. It says car headlights, the last thing Ash hears is a snap of breaking glass as the wind screen hits her and shatters into a million pieces like stars but she made it she's still here or is she this new year's eve ash gets an invitation from the afterlife she can't decline to join a clan of fierce girl reapers who take the souls of the city's dead to await their fate but ash can't forget her first love poppy and she will do anything to see her again even if it means they only get a few more days together dead or alive so a bit of a spooky sapphic romance and it is also signed by the author and we have these pink sprayed edges too. So not my usual genre, not something I would gravitate towards but it does actually sound really interesting. And the actual book of the month I believe is is it These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan, which um, I've heard some not great reviews about but it's a fairy romance so like I'm willing to give it a try. But also in here we have the fairy scoop. We also have a letter from the author on, oh, this is really stunning art. And one more thing, we should have the bookmark. Yes, the bookmark with the art of the month on it. And which way does this go? This way. The book of the month should be, yep, These Hollow Vows, which I do believe also has an exclusive cover. I think that this is autumnal. 
I don't know if the original cover is. I'll have a look. The original cover has like bluey green ivy and this one has like super autumnal covers. Oh, sprayed edges. I didn't see because these were orange. So I didn't notice that we also have stenciling on the pages. Let's see, do we have under dust jacket art and also naked hardcover art? We do. Oh, that's beautiful. That is, I like that. That's, that's two fairy men. And also, hello. Hello. I love me a fairy romance. I know I said I'd heard not great things about this, but do I care? He looks a lot. This is like Reese and Rowan. Rowan? Resand. Rowan? Resand. But yeah, the back of this says, the king was right about one thing. I am a great thief. I can steal just about anything. But to fairy prince's heart, I wouldn't know where to start. You say you wouldn't, but I bet you would. Ooh, pretty map. And signed signature page, I guess. Words failed me then. But the plot of this one, go to the Sealy Court, find the queen's secret portal to enter the most dangerous place in fairy, find my sister and rescue her from a power hungry king. Child's play. Brie would do anything before making a deal with the Fae. Death is preferable to their vicious schemes, but when her sister is taken by the sadistic king of the Unseelie Court, there is nothing Brie wouldn't do to get her back, including making a deal with the king himself to steal three magical relics from the rival Sealy Court. Gaining unfettered access to the Sealy Court is easier said than done. Brie's only choice is to pose as a potential bride for Prince Ronan, the Sealy Prince who's not quite as wicked as she once thought. Unwilling to let her heart distract her, she accepts help from a band of unseely misfits with their own secret agenda, but as Bree spends time with their mysterious leader Finn, she finds herself struggling to resist his seductive charm. Caught between two dangerous courts, Bree must decide who to trust with her loyalty and with her heart. And I know that like fairy loot is YA, but I'm hoping that like Kingdom of the Wicked, this is one that's gonna stray into some new adult territory because we love some fairy romance. Great fairy loot box as well. Really impressed with the fairy loot box as well. Although I think, oh, my favorite item, pin flag or the book, because fairy romance, you know. Simple girl with simple tastes. Thank you so much once again to each of these book boxes for sending me them to show to you guys. In my description box, you are going to be able to find the websites for all of them, as well as all of their social media and my discount codes where I have them, in case you would like to check any of them out and maybe get your hands on your own subscription. Please don't forget down in the comments to leave me your favorite items from these three boxes. But aside from that, guys, please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna. If you head into my description box, you'll find the link to my good reads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish candle website the instagram for that and the etsy and a 10 percent off discount code but that's it from me today guys bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you really go where nobody knows with guns hidden under our petticoats we're never gonna quit it no we're never gonna quit it no